Uh, relatively close up. Are we going to be using the suction, sa suction sampler before the lowest module? Uh, yeah, we'll do the second lowest as well. Okay, well, yeah, okay, it's not for a while then. Not for a while. We're okay, I'll stow it. A while, yeah. Yeah, we'll get our shelf set up there, Dirk, and then we'll uh, yeah. give you your zooms. Okay, no, that's fine. I just think it's a missed opportunity if we're only looking at the tops and if we're not zooming in like we did before. Okay. That's just so much better. Josh, if you can hear me, could you just play out five meters, please? You want to see that to still it, yeah? Ah, uh, this is fine. Okay, cool. Okay, and arm is stowed and secured. <coughs> Cheers, dude. Going down, you want him to keep paying out? Yep. Okay, Josh, pay out, please. 20 meters a minute. Are we stopping for zooms here? Yes, please. Yeah, but all, we're mostly worried about the kind of the side-on zoom. So side we don't on, need another top on. one, and then we'll get a... Okay, Roger, I keep going, Josh. Like a nice close-up of the side. Zoom in just a touch. Eight. Dave, are you on Cheers. SPL? That's good. Huh? Are you on SPL? Yeah. Okay. Apparently so. Okay. I hear you. Yep. Okay, hold there, Josh. Thank you. And we kind of want that horizontal almost a little lower and then we're there. All right, creeping in. Mm -hmm. All right, buddy, go ahead. I'm just gonna keep edging in on it. So again, mostly just those kind of eggy looking stuff on the bottom. What's up? Gonna go more. <laughs> <laughs> they gave him a taste. Okay. Okay, that's um, good. Thank let you. me talk with the pilots because we're looking at them going right now. All right. So the bridge wants to change our heading. Is that okay with you? Which way does he want to go? Uh, I think he wants to come 20 degrees uh, this way. So towards. To starboard. Yeah, to starboard. Uh, where was the... Yes. Yes. That's fine. All right. Where was that other For marine? Me. And how tall was it? The one at the bottom? Bottom one's 150. So that'll yeah, put Atalanta right off. over top of it. Going to starboard? Oh, yeah. It'll put it over here. It'll put Atalanta here. That's here. Where it is in the water column is another question. But will it move Atalanta? Since we're rotating around our A-frame. It'll definitely move a where we bit. think Atalanta is. I see what you're saying. It shouldn't move it much. If you rotate around your A-frame, yeah. it okay. shouldn't move it much. Okay. Okay. We'll monitor it and see. Yeah. If we have to, Bridge we can all now. stop it and come back. Totally. Yeah, you're free to change your heading. These Perfect. Only go on, Thanks. These only go on 20 degrees, right? Yeah. Yeah, that's probably fine. Okay, are you going oh. down again? Hang on, no, Hang sorry. On. What, what, what do you need up there, Dirk? Anything I know, else? We're good. We All right. Out. Okay, Josh, please pay out. Twenty meters a minute. See him again at the next one, yeah? Yep. All righty.
it's another standard module for the multipliers. Okay, Josh, I'll stop there. Okay, Pete. I want that horizontal view, though. So. Yeah, so, coming down to it, mate. Okay. Looks like already someone already sampled this one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Some scrapes <laughs> on the top. Still pretty clean. Okay, that's that's good. Cool. Thank you. Also still pretty clean, yeah. Ready okay. to go? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Pay out please, Josh. Twenty meters a minute. This is gonna be a few minutes. Well where are we going down to for this? Twenty three fifty. Okay. Shaw mentioned that they can't hear you, me. Is there anyone else who can't hear me? I can hear, can you. hear you better now. I can hear you better now. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Thanks. It's harsh. Yeah, it's moved it away quite nice, actually. Yeah. A quick gauge check. Yep. Gauges are good. Sweet. This is like the longest bounce dive ever. <laughs> <laughs> right? Yeah. A bounce dive. That's what we were told. It's just a bounce dive. Yeah, just go down. <laughs> oh, it is bounce up and down and down. It's oscillating. <laughs> and up and down. Yeah. I mean, we're almost done. Except for the parking position and the oily and the oh, all the other stuff, yeah. <laughs> all the Josh, slow yeah. down, please. <laughs> One five meters per minute. Sorry, I've slowed down a bit. Just trying to tell them what they want to hear. Apparently, they bounce. They want to bounce. I think we'll be we'll be done. Hopefully, operations before the end of your watch. That's a dream. That is the dream. Leave them with uh, blue water. Yeah. Uh, they did that to you yesterday, right? <laughs> Look at yeah, that. they did. Always this morning. Yeah. Look at the aft cam where the cable goes and how flat that water is. That's amazing. Yeah, beautiful. Should get the drone out today and do some flying. The larval traps were collected already, right? Yes. Uh, yeah. yeah, that's what the checkbox says. Yes, they were collected already. Marvelous. 25 meters Marvelous. to go. What did you say? Cheers. Marvelous. Oh, I thought you said larva. <laughs> <laughs> that was a pun. The rural, no, rural traps. Marvel traps. Marvel, 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 Marvel traps. <laughs> uh, Fabio, someone's asking what instruments are on this line, Ooh, and what do they measure? Because <laughs> we have a lot. We have a lot. There, right? there are a lot of different types of sensors. Uh, the basic modules that we were just gonna go through right now, like there this is, is a standard. Visual. These are photo multipliers. They're essentially trying to capture the faint amount of uh, light emitted. Keep emitted going, Josh. Those moorings were pretty much uh, testing testing stages for installing a full-scale neutrino observatory, which will consist of bundles of one kilometer tall moorings and where a community of um, particle physicists are studying showers of neutrinos that grow through Earth. Um, <laughs> don't ask me much about uh, astrophysics, but because <laughs> I'm a deep sea ecologist, but um, some of these modules have spectrometers. Okay, Josh, good there. Where we can see the, the spectrum of light, the wave, the different wavelengths. 
and we are studying as a byproduct of the particle mm. physics. Physics is bioluminescence, for example. Mm. Um, so some some of these modules that have the spectrometer, uh, we can tell uh, what the wavelength of the the bioluminescent organisms are. And of course, they want to filter out all the background okay, uh, levels of light. I'll um, be common to it. So. Um, Just easy. From their studies of, they don't want to have those measurements interfere with their uh, detection of neutrinos. Mm. All right, still clean. Man, I can't the difference. You really want to focus your energy looking down, huh? Can we zoom a little bit more in this one? Oh, See? Fabio, the See? critical questions, my. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta ask, what, wow. Pilot whinging. What critical, what critical <laughs> question? Can we zoom Leave more? It? Leave it there. <laughs> no. Leave it there. Wow, well, and that is it. That's Beautiful. it, all right. Awesome. Okay, that's good. Thank you. <laughs> Fabio, good question. <laughs> <laughs> you almost short us again yeah, to Fabio. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna ask them. one, two, three, four, five, six, six more times. <laughs> At least. Oh well, yeah, it's man very. Who let him in? <laughs> next module. Okay, ask, Josh, pay out. You've got? Fifteen meters a minute. <sighs> Front row, are you in the mood to be on camera? Okay, thought I'd ask. Oh, and actually, some of these modules, we also have this uh, section modules that we have, the spectrometers, we also have a ultra-low light uh, sensor, imaging sensor. So we're actually collecting images of bioluminescent organisms. Oh. Really? Okay, Josh, you can go up to 20. Some cool stuff. Yeah. Cool stuff. How far down to the next one, mate? Uh, it's close. <coughs> Roger, close. 23, I think. Oh, okay, there. That one, right there. Yeah. That one. That's pretty cool. Yeah, mm -hmm. there's another one, Fabio. You got your question ready? <laughs> uh, let's, let's get... Yeah, not yet. Don't waste it yet. yet. You don't want to yeah. you you ask too soon. Wait, no. wait. He still has plenty left in the bank. Keep going, Josh. On this one, you want to zoom in on an individual neutrino? <laughs> if you can, please. <laughs> <laughs> and I, I see you're pretty capable. Okay, Josh, you're good there. I'll stop. Alright, starting to run in. Okay, Pete, come in easy. That's good for now. Hang on. <coughs> Alright, mate. In you go. I guess this is the Muon tracker. Can yeah, uh, really focus your energy looking down, not up. <laughs> Steady. <laughs> Have my eye out in a minute. Nice. Wow. Sweet. Coming down on it. You're okay, stay. Can be relatively tough to distinguish okay. which still was from which module. Unfortunately. Right in. Cool. Thanks, guys. Wow. That is really nice one. cool. Okay. See, it's still kind of shorties at the top, growing there. A little buzz cut. Uh, yeah. Thrusters yeah, are right. starting to turn it. So we'll get to the longies down below. That's good. Thank you. Okay, on we go. Oh, this yep. one's another short one. Thanks, mate. Pay out, please, Josh. Really 20 meters shot. a minute. Yeah, 25 meters down. All right, cheers. And we have colleagues in Germany watching this live. I'm very excited about this survey and also the University of Alberta as well. Cool. Who manufactures uh, this instrumentation? Oh, 
Oh, I don't know. Look at her depth of 23.98 on this uh, one. You got a stumper there, Pete. Roger. Oh. This instrumentation. And I was at. Could I tell you? Well, if those modules come from Germany, I believe. Does that answer your question, Germany? <laughs> <laughs> oh, they. they yeah. Oh, the manufacturers. Yeah. Well, who? Uh, it came from Technical University of Munich. Okay. There's okay, you can stop there, Josh. They have lots of components coming from different different suppliers. Yeah, I don't know if it's as simple as just um, imagenics. You know, there's no. more to it than a lot I of the stuff they're developing. I don't think it's off house. the shelf kind of thing. Yeah, I don't. I don't think you can just go and build a mooring like this. From Bueller, Trevor. Hello. Hey, I found the right button to talk to you. I've been talking <laughs> to you the whole time. Hey, Josh. <laughs> You've been talking to us the whole time. <laughs> I've been trying. I just found the right button. Good work. So proud of you. Well, it's not my fault. Allison told me the wrong button. Roger. <laughs> Blame it on the boss. I know, right? <laughs> it's either her fault or Trevor's fault. or It's not my fault. No. Oh. Master of his own destiny. Okay, Pete. Well, we're starting to see a little bit of, little bit of stuff on the um, bottom side, a little dusting. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's that's great. We just have a um, message here from folks in Germany. Uh, Elisa Risconi mentioned that uh, the PhD student Kilian Hosfaffel. <laughs> I'm sorry for the pronunciation. Okay, Josh, 15 uh, meters a minute. He Pay out, please. He defended Roger. his PhD thesis, uh, making use of this uh, the, the the low light cameras and um, the spectrometers uh, data from the straw beam mooring. Day of twenty four twenty one. The first two next stop. Few results oh, on the bioluminescence aspect of this this whole experiment. Uh, yes. it's, it's pretty cool actually. I mean, some very interesting results coming up. Congratulations, Kilian. Mm -hmm. Looking forward to see the manuscripts. Almost there. Keep going, Josh. Looks so far away, but we're less than an ROV length, eh? We're uh, four and a half meters away. Yeah. So a little one and a half ROVs. Keep going, Josh. Hey, Pete. Copy. <coughs> it's certainly not the biggest object. <laughs> Just hold there a sec. Okay, Josh, you can also hold there a sec. Bunch of copies. Yeah, we're definitely starting to see some dust and some growth on the bottom down here. All right, yeah. man. Is that all you got? Yeah. Oh, okay. No. <laughs> there we go. First, no. Oh, that's all. That's full. We're oh. getting the longer, long, longies growing. Uh, looks like some. Uh, hey, 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 hey. I think that's good, anyways. Um, thank you. Where are we? Uh, well, we are. That's yes. 2421. 24, Over that. Ready to go down? Yeah. Yep, on the way. Okay, Josh, two zero meters a minute. Please pay out. Roger. We got uh, a little longer one. So we're a year. 
okay. two four nine three. Here in this one, right? The next yep. two. Roger. Yeah. No, no, not this no, one. No, we skip the next one and then we the, do these two. Yeah. yeah. It's just counting spheres when I should be counting rectangles too. It's pipes. We got. I think we got three left. Almost three left. Critter. Yeah. You see it? What's that? You see the? Was it a critter on the on the wire there? I did not. Are you stopping? Yeah. Just I'll stop on the winch. Winch stopped. No, it's not. Ignore oh. me. <laughs> clamp. Yeah. A clamp. A wild clamp. Uh, at, there's, there's a critter. Just hold on. Yeah. Oh, hold on there. Dave. Yeah. For that clamp, can we just zoom in on that clamp? Because we're gonna have to potentially take this off at the surface. So it'll be nice to know. Just see one, so I know what I'm dealing with when it comes okay. up. Yeah, some zoomage on that. Stand by. Well, I just noticed that we are not using the lasers. Correct. Um, I didn't say anything about lasers. Yeah, you don't want them shining back at you from the mirror. Uh, you, can, you want to turn them on? No, it's okay. We, we know pretty much the scale from the module. Okay, That's zoom fine. in, please. The module size. All right, so it's Allen bolt, not Allen bolt, not on the back. Yeah, that's good. Little plastic clamp. Yeah. Oh, what? Seven sixteenths. Yeah, seven sixteenths. Not four mil Allen bolt. <laughs> <laughs> Love it. Yeah. Or you can just take them off with a hammer. <laughs> okay, Josh, please pay out 20 meters a minute. <laughs> Copy. You guys good in there for the last hour, Trevor, or you want any, either you want to switch? I'm fine. How are you, Dave? No, I'm fine for now. I'll go down there and relieve you if you want to, if you want a break. Uh, this is absolutely my preferred position. Please leave me out here. <laughs> 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 All right, Josh, if you're going to stay out there, you got to go 20 meters a minute, though. I'm still calibrating my hand. Hand calibration, Roger. This one. Yeah, Jake might right be now. able to help you out. Yeah. Two more spheres to go, and then hey, uh, I know he's perfect. So that's a good double team. joke. He's also he's perfect, and he's got the you know he's got the hand calibration. You know. <laughs> so why are we seeing so many things in the um, sonar? Uh, you know, like in the um, neat. That was not I'd, there was a moment not, ago. Are you sure, mate? It's a Christmas tree, you right? Sure, you're not yeah. just on shrooms or something. <laughs> <laughs> it looks I like a Christmas right. tree from the top. Don't know, there's some sort of interference somewhere. Yeah, that went away for a while and then came right back, yeah, so that's pretty nifty. Atlanta, right? so. uh, uh, that's the is the abyss. Something's coming. <laughs> when we were down here, Do it was... Uh, Can you watch the Delta? Let me know if it's not. Yeah. Would it be easier to just use mouse? I'll just slow down a piece. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Just keep it coming, Josh. We're good. We're still going down, mate. Raj. Raj. Oh, it's so nice hearing his voice over comms like that. Yeah. <laughs> you saying I got a face for radio there, Dave? Just sounds like you're really far away. <laughs> <laughs> I actually went home. I'm doing this from home. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Operating wage. <laughs> Second lighter module. Oh, I have some push cars in the fridge. Hmm? Fridge. Oh, <laughs> yeah, you, I huh? have some homework in the afternoon. <laughs> Who are those push cars? 
Push course for. Okay, five more meters, and then you can come all stop mint. Microplastics. Which Microplastics. copies? Microplastics. Gotcha. And organic matter. Back on comms. Oi, oi, oi. Let's come back that way a little before we do this. Winch is going to stop unless you... Want Thank to you very much. Yep. It's perfect. Okay, Pete. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, more long ones now. And more growing on the bottom as well. Yeah, this one needs air cut. Yeah, mm -hmm. the others. <laughs> it's got a little goatee too. <laughs> well, interesting. Oh, that's a nice shot. Nice shot for a presentation. <laughs> yeah. Um, that's probably good. Yeah. So next. we're gonna sample the next two. Next two will vacuum. Oh, what? They're yeah. probably the ones that need it the most, anyways. Ready to go down? Yep. Okay, payout, please, Josh. Twenty. Roger. Twenty meters per minute. Um, we're gonna go down. Thirty meters total. Maybe yeah. spheres make good sonar targets, huh? Yeah. Very apparent. Next goal, Dave, is 2518. Yep. Stills cam. Thank you. Okay, Josh, you're good there. You can come all stop. Which is stopped. Thank you. Do you want to zoom on this before we? Yeah. Okay. All right, Pete. Kind of a, yeah. Oh yeah, definitely more, continually more fouling at the bottom. I don't know if you would, if I would say there's more at the top. Looks like we touched this. Did we touch this? I don't think so. Looks nope. Like we didn't touch any of them. Except for the top one. Oh yeah, lots yeah. at the bottom. Yeah, it's definitely the bottom is more contaminated here. Maybe it looks thicker. Thicker, thicker yeah. sediment. Yeah, I don't know. Okay, that's good. Um, and we're going to vacuum some get some of that, that little wormy stuff on there. And I assume that's going to be on jar number two. Yep, we'll get that set up in just a moment. Got enough there for you? Yep. I wonder if I want to do that. What else do you need to do? Uh, you know what? Sorry, can I have the perch again? This is a bad, yep. bad grip. Not my best work. Yeah, get up there. Please porch out. Mm -hmm. Good there. Yeah, that's nice. 
Josh, success on the uh, suction hose holster. The porching out helps. Awesome, that's how I define success. Two two different tries before well, the other ship breaks Well, back in or leave it out? Uh, doesn't matter. Probably in. Oh, it doesn't matter. We tried it a okay. little. All right. Now let's uh, do the camera up and I'll align that jar. Yep. Can you open the iris, please, Pete? That's me fully up. Okay, jar two aligned. We can go for a vacuum mode now. Okay, come in just a little peek, please. That uh, whoop, too much, mate. There we go. I'm ready on the suction valve. Once you get over close, I'll turn that on. And then I'll vacuum when you say. There. <clears throat> Josh, can you pay out two meters, please? Cheers. Copy. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Very easily. Oh, you'll All have coming loads in. of time. Roger. Yeah. I'm going to turn on the suction yeah, you now. Can flash it up it's now. It's going to take probably the rest of the day to recover this thing on deck. It's going to be slow. I have to get all the cables free. Get the strength member onto the winch. Stack all these modules. Yeah, it's gonna be uh, like you'll have like okay, going hours. now. Yep. I don't know how long it's gonna take. It's gonna be a long time though. You close the iris a bit, Pete. Yep. Thank you. Good. Whoop. Oh no, you. Uh, all right, it'll come back slight. I can come around be, uh, that way a little anyway. Roger that. On the RV ascent, you can. There'll be lots of time. Yeah, we, we RV's gonna be on deck before we can start. You're good to go, mate. A little, little low oh, for we're, we're a little low, yeah. Okay. Yeah, good there. Oh, yeah. Backing up. Okay. B ball. I'm out of there. <laughs> yep. We've got plenty of that, I tell you. Okay, we're happy that happy? we got. Yeah. Okay, uh, I will down. stop the suction. This one. We'll when you're ready, there. Back off a touch enough, so I'm going to start yeah. coming up for you now. Totally. When you're safe, we'll Pardon? do the rotate. What's that? Well, this one is a tiny little thing. <coughs> yeah, it'll be fine. I'm assuming it's going to have. It'll be fine. I think. Okay, uh, Pete, thank you. Can kind of come around the rope. Okay, we're aligned there. I'm going to run the suction pump, give it at least 30 seconds. So you're able to divert the um, suction pump to not be flown into the next sample? We have eight jars, oh, so one of which is our flush. Okay, flush gotcha. We have one flush and seven sample. Gotcha. Okay, on to the last one when you're ready. Might as well keep that in the wrist, yeah? Yep. And then when we get there, we'll have to do more uh, suction jar. We'll have to do another look up. Yeah, no bother. <laughs> Ready to go down? Yeah. Okay, Josh, pay out, please. 20 meters a minute. You are full wide. Roger. You have 23 meters to go down. Okay, flush is secure.
Fabio, there's a question here if the neutrino detection work is part of SETI's deep sea project. Sorry, which project? SETI's. Mm -hmm. I don't think I never heard this name before. Okay. That's is that not the old alien watch? Oh goodness. Thing or something like that? The the, I don't know. the big telescopic arrays? I've never heard of it, but of that doesn't mean anything. P1 is a large uh, consortium of several universities uh, and it stands for the Pacific Ocean Neutrino Observatory. Mm. Experiment. I need to look that up and see what set E is. Is this what we're stopping at? Yeah, that's it. We want to get some good zoom Okay, on Josh, Ooh, keep going zoom a little. On this one. Going a little, Josh. No, not yet, Pete. Can you move the arm out of the way, bud? Yeah, please? I that. And Josh, you're good there. I'll stop. Full extra super wide, Pete. It's oh, you already, you already are. Yep. That's okay. That'll be fine. Okay. I'm halted. Thank you. Okay, Pete, go for that, man. I'm coming in. <coughs> what am I slurping here? Uh, there's something on there. On top. On there. top, probably. Yeah. <laughs> Roger. That's what I. Man, it seems like the. Uh, just stand by. This is pretty good, eh? This is very clean yeah, yeah. compared to the spheres. There's not yeah. much of a target. Yeah, I was gonna say, could you give me a smaller one, please? This is way well, I too think easy. It's gonna be very quick to slurp. I don't think you'll detect it at all. Okay, you can go on in, Pete. Oh yeah. So I don't know what what we're really sampling here. Yeah. That I guess the bungee. Unless you cleaned and sterilized the jars, Fabio. I bet there's that much dirt in the yeah, jar yeah. right now. Yeah, yeah, that's right. We'll sample. Sure, but, yeah. Um, we'll see what could come could come up on it. If anything, it'll be a pretty good uh, like reference to how much there is in the jar. Uh, do you want to go up first? Carry on up. Good call Put there, Fabio, on having sample. Ah, uh, yes, we please, yep. Yeah. Oh, that's all right. Good call having also sampled the one above, because this one's sampling yeah, is yeah. going to be probably inconclusive. Or, yeah. I can't say. But it might be. That was the idea. It's not a lot to sample. There are roughly similar depths. I mean, in My, um, reference as the bottom of the moon. Oh, it's still zoomed in some. Full wide, mate. There you go. Nice. And that um, that last sample was on sample bottle number two. That's correct. It? We're going to do sample bottle number three. Okay, we're aligned for three. Oh, Ricky, you heard that? Gotcha. Got it. <coughs> Number three. Number nine. Number nine. This is going to be interesting. Yeah. Wish me luck. Wish you luck. Okay, mate. You can set up whenever you want, where we, where you need to. I mean. Are you able to come around the to starboard and have it out to port? It might be a little easier. Uh, yeah. Maybe get a little more visual that way. It's turning around with you, isn't it? <laughs> it's going to try to, yeah, to begin with. So I've, I've sort of pulled back. Yeah, Roger. You know, five or six meters to smart. try and minimize that. Smart, smart, smart. You O and C folks, really just pushing the limits, aren't you? Love to push, push, well, push, push the exactly limits. It's exactly like asking for more zoom, right? It's there. Might as well ask for it. <laughs> that is not correct. Okay, but it's similar. 
I come in from here and let you get beyond. Just go beyond the wire. I don't want to yeah. go too much further. Absolutely agreed. Yeah. Probably happy that we're not asking you guys to swab those things. People were thinking <laughs> that we we're gonna do that, just that. Okay, I'm coming on on suction now. Yeah, Pete, here's a wee bit of zoom there, buddy. <coughs> Good. That's it. Got it in stills cam for your depth there. Yeah. All right, man. Whenever you are good, you can move. Okay. I'm happy. Okay, let's try this. Pretty far, but. Ooh, there's little bits That's going in so there. That's nice. You almost connected with the thing. <laughs> Oop, like bonk, bonk, bonk. Like fueling a jet in air. Yeah, yeah. right. Still scammers mostly. It's my side hustle. Okay, come wide, wire please. Here, but yeah. I think we got out of there. Oh, wow. Yeah. Oh, wow. That's a good shot. Okay, let's unwrap ourselves and then we'll get sorted out. What? That was a lucky shot. <laughs> no, it wasn't luck. Oh, okay. So. <laughs> that last one of the module was really good. Really close up. Oh yeah, look at that. Okay, stopping That's suction right. now. Oh. Once you're away, Dave, we'll get the look up and rotate it back to the flush. Yep, no worries. Take as long as you need. That of all of them, eh? Fabio, look at this one. Nice. It's very scientific looking shot. That's the money shot. Mm -hmm. I know. I'm pretty proud of myself for having taken it. <laughs> Good job, I'm Dirk might even get paid for putting you in a position to be able to take that. <laughs> Money all around. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone's getting paid. <laughs> so Dave, to answer your question, search for extraterrestrial intelligence. There we go. Yeah, I thought it was something like that. Thank you. There we go. That's a shot. Press myself even something. It's like literally someone else had to open the browser, set up the settings. I just <laughs> press click. You sure can click a mouse, though, I'll tell you I, what. Yeah, well, you know, I can give you the rundown later. On how to click? Yeah. Roger that. Looking you can forward teach to me it. about the RV, I can teach you about this. About the click? <laughs> give it a couple clicks up, a couple clicks down. I think I'm guessed it if I'm at flush, we'll see. No, I yet. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah, she's bound up again. Is it? I'll go the long way around. I will go any way at all. Oh yeah, she's bound up. Hang on, might be because I'm thrusting r real hard here. Oh, yeah, it might be. Yeah, I ain't got the, the jam for it. One thing else we could do is I could stow the manip. Um, I'll just do it with bubble. Yeah, that's all right. I can come down for you if you want. No, you see, stay there. I'll figure this out. Go, do it. All right, we're well clear there anyway. Okay. Might as well get as much pressure as we can. Coming back up just to put that into my view. Yeah, roger that. Okay, craft is secure. Okay, we got 2,900 PSI. I'm going to do some sample jar rotating. All right, we've got that visual, so go ahead, do what you need. Okay, I'm going to do some, going to do some sa sample jar.
Well, neat. That went. That's gone a half step. There you there go. There we go. Okay. Whoop. Yeah, went a half step. There we go. Now we're at one. Or, no, or a flush. Yeah, you just do a gauges check as well when you're done. Roger that. Gauge is good. Probably do a full one in a moment here once we get yeah. back to bottom. Uh, running the flush, a right. couple more seconds, but you can pan away, tilt away, whatever you got to do. Yep. Perfect. Thanks, Pete. Just turn the craft off, mate. If craft, you don't craft is off. It. Yeah. Is it? All right, coming down. Okay. Flushing is finished. That's secure. Uh, I don't remember how deep the base is, but uh, Josh, you can pay out 20 meters a minute. Roger. Give that to you if you want. Yeah. You want it? Yeah. Uh, that, the WAM said 120. Ah, uh, that's altitude. not a depth. Well, that ain't altitude, no altitude. 120 off bottom. It was I the first thing a WAM? Yeah. I think we just slurped. The yeah. WAM, yeah. Okay, Roger that. Time for g -g -g gauge check. Put bubble cam right here. Yep. What am I doing right here? Okay, her is 65 off bottom. Roger that. Back to that, that's better. Uh, hmm. Yeah, the going the with the looking down doesn't descend so fast. If you 
go faster, it ends up getting the lead part right all up in the business. Uh, it's not not my favorite. About another four zero meters to go, Josh. Raj. What are we going to do when we get to the bottom, Dirk? Um, one second. We have to disconnect that cable and get it free of the mooring. And then pop this thing? Yeah, effectively. Cool. Yeah, I bet that'll be a magnum operation. Might as well. And then just on the way up, after we've released the <coughs> mooring, we need to do three niskins. Roger. Three, not six? I don't know. Uh, oh, three, six. Three, two, twice. two, two, yeah. Yeah. Two, two, two. That's a bit messy, isn't it? Yeah. Okay, ten off bottom. See that in view. Roger. Keep going, Josh. You're good. I am good. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Ace. Okay, another four meters, Josh. I can count that high. Try to keep it on one hand. Alright, how do you want to position for this? Where you are now is probably fine. So Would you stop? Come this side of that cable. Uh, you could come that side, yeah. Right. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, that's fine. That hurt. The Atalanta shot's pretty cool again. Mm -hmm. Fuzzy, but cool. Yeah, that'll work nice, actually. It'll give you a good angle to pull that out. Maybe I can just pull it out, yeah. That'd be pretty neat. Dirk, if we pull this out, are we going to leave it in the... We have to defletcher it, don't we? Uh, yeah, we do have to defletcher, but we want to put this oily into the into a parking position. Yes. Hey. Hang on. Hang on. What is it? Which, which side of this do you want to grab in there? I'm going to grab in first a parking position, put it on the porch. Second, I'm going to grab the orange plunger handle, drop it in that parking position. And then we probably have to back away a bit, Dirk? Or you want to just leave it right here? Oh, we could back away a bit. Okay. Okay. And then we'll come land and sort out the rest of the stuff. Um, Two tray coming just, out. Okay. Just place it off to the side. That's probably okay. Place it off to the side, Roger. Arm coming on. Yep. Okay, you can bring that in. Uh. 
it's there. It's on that yeah. side. Okay. Yeah. Oh wow. Have you, have you done that before? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Hold on for one second. Uh, Holding on. Once you're ready, but don't pull it out yet. I'll work on getting this little sea critter yeah, off here as fragile as possible. Give me. Give me, buddy. He doesn't okay, want to go. Confirmed. I so think that's where he lives now. Excuse me. All right, you can come along for the ride. So whenever you're ready, Trevor, you can go ahead. Pulling it out. Whoop. You said this didn't spin. I didn't. AJ might have. You, you. Yeah. AJ <laughs> might have. Okay. Let's just try I this. I don't remember uh, saying anything. Got this in hand. Okay, I got a grip lock. Let's go twisting, jerking motion. Yeah. Oh my gosh, Dirk! <laughs> Just push it back. You told me this wouldn't spin. How does a train wheel spin so easily? What's a guy to do? Pick up, I guess. Okay. Oh, good gravy! I think you're gonna have. I'm to letting go. Get a different plan. Yeah, I'd say. Look I'll spin it rough. back. I'm going to put the A-frame handle in the magnum jaw, and then we'll do this again. Yeah. Well, it's already dirty. I might as well spin it now. Yeah, makes sense. Man, does that ever spin easily? Wow. Yeah, you betcha. Okay, I'm halted. We'll let the viz clear, and then in the meantime, I'll get the magnolia out. What am I pushing? Oily. Yeah, I didn't like that. Hmm. I think your buddy got the memo on the relocation. Yeah. Oh man, this oil is right underneath the magnum. <laughs> Bummer. You want me to? You're not holding on to anything, uh, are you? Correct. You can like you can I slide back. I can slide back. Yeah. Might be free anyways from the stills cam, but no, I'm not. I can see it in bubble. Oh, you can. It. Oh yeah. Okay, good there. Bubble. What a mess. Oh. Yeah, can't even do that. Nope. That's not good either. Just try, there. that was just a yeah. smidgen of forwards to try and clear that. Squid. Roger, smidgen. Yeah. Roger, smidgen. And a snapshot. Old friend of mine. Along with the mud. I just want to anchor down. Yeah, yeah that's Actually, fine. All this yeah. mud is far below the sampling up top, so. Maybe not a squid. <laughs> That's a power kit. One of those. Uh, that was is that in the water or on the sediment? No, it's way up in the column. Yeah, it was oh. swimming around. That's a power kit, yeah. Okay, Magnum's locked on. Let's uh, try this again, differently. More magnum action. Hmm. That's better. Oh, look at that. It's easy when it doesn't spin. It's anyway, easy when it doesn't do spin. It. <sighs> okay, well. You can let that go now, can't you? I suppose I can. Or have we got to put a cover on it? I have to put the right side into the parking position, which is in the porch. But I want to let go of the magnum. I don't think we have to put a dust cap on the other one, do we? No, but we need to knock it out. My now might be a nice time just to like push it out with it, even with a connector. Uh, you know? I understand, but it would be nice to do that with a Park bare position. jaw. Oh, bare I'll jaw. just put it this in. Spin, though. I'm just going to put this in there, sure. in there first. I think that's the good first order up. Oh, boy. Yeah, can you give it some... Did I put that in backwards? What a dolt. No wonder it was so fast. Yeah. Wrong. 
Yeah, it's fast when it's wrong. Oh. Idiot. Yeah, that was first. It's a good time to like shake that rust out of those pins too. I can't believe the dive chief didn't even notice. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> you believe it. <laughs> <laughs> I'd be really impressed if you could put it in now. Yeah. While spinning? <laughs> Check out this donut. Puck's first. That's the right trick. Okay. We actually once did a job with an RV jaw that was constantly spinning. Unless you grab something, then it stops. I remember that. Yeah. It's a frustrating dive in Strait of Georgia. Yeah, with a dust cap stuck in the jaws. Yeah. <laughs> still yep. finished it. I s still have that dust cap somewhere, I think. Oop, bonk. It's, um, it's relatively inconsistent how these things are arranged in these park in these fletchers. Mm -hmm. um, for the most part, they're correct. But every now and then, there's one that... No, this is me. There. This is the way I would like it. And I still got it wrong. So, for once, I just can't blame you guys. For once. I know. I'm actually quite disappointed about it. I'll remember that. Put it in the dive plan, dive notes. Or unable. You got that? Unable to blame ONC. Trevor's, Trevor's wrong. For my mistake. Annotation <laughs> saved. <laughs> just, just Trevor's wrong. Unable to blame ONC. I don't like that as much. Tough to tell. I know. Yeah, I don't think so. It didn't feel right. I'm gonna zoom in there. I don't think it looks right either right now. Maybe a little bit. I think not I square. see something. Oh. Oh, maybe. 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 Maybe some zoom if you're ready for it. I'm ready. I'm halted. Oh, yeah, that? that's good. Happy? Yeah. Okay. Great. I'm just gonna put this off to the right. Is that okay? Yeah, that's fine. I'm, yeah, yeah, that's fine. I'm just gonna miss the pucks, and then I'm gonna put it off to the right. I'm just gonna miss the pucks. And then, and only then, am I gonna put it off to the right? Uh, yeah. That'll work. Okay. Fine. So now I'll kick this parking position out. Just kind of leave it in the mud, or do you want me to put it somewhere? Just if you could place it on top of the train wheel. Yeah, Roger. Uh, what would be the least likely to get snagged by the chain falling down? Maybe off to the side, on the left hand side there. Can we to drape it on the top? Yeah, when we fly that'd up. Be better. Yeah, let's do that. Okay, we got to we got to go around that way we anyway, have to go Dave. Around it. Yeah. Yeah, that's the way we want to go. So let me get this jaw out of here. We could spin it. It spins easy enough. <laughs> that's true. <laughs> um. But I don't think you're spinning the whole uh, mooring, so... We have so shoulder down only right now, so please uh, fly off of there. Yep. Nice job. I'll tuck him in. Right, I need to look up just a little. Yeah, do what you need to do. We can leave this till later. Um, so Trevor, Hello. Once, you're, once you're done this this piece, <coughs> um, I'm going to change my mind a little bit and move that oily a little further away. Okay. I'm just worried Where's about... Where's this going? Uh, the higher the better. Just drape it on the can, maybe. Yeah, on the can. Yeah. You just don't want it snagging on the... The chain's going to drop, and that release is going to go up, so... Roger. Anything above the release is good. Yeah. On the release might make it your life harder. Yeah, yeah. we'll do that. Probably on the top is going to be the easiest top of this can. Okay. It's got a nice square. Come on. There we go. Just drop the pressure down there. Yeah, Roger. It's all right at the minute. I'll just drape it on this beacon. Yeah, that works. Yep. Whenever you feel stable, Dave. 
Stable enough, mate. Go for it. Stay. That's fine. Cape okay, halted. Let me stow it. Yeah, that cable's just kind of sitting really close in between the two train wells, and if that moves, it'll yeah, just we, be lame. we ain't gonna see Jack down there at the minute. <laughs> Okay, you want me to move the oily, you say? Just pull it away. <coughs> uh, away from the, it's right now it's leaning up against the train wheel. Okay. And I think it's right between the two train wheels kind of area. So it, just in case something shifts, it shouldn't. That would be pretty unfortunate if it does. Okay. We know they can handle platform weight. I don't know about train wheel weight. Let me see if I can come around back here. The current's pretty good. Clears it up. Yeah. yeah. You don't have to land, Dave. I can snatch it out of the water if you want. Yep. Whatever you feel, just let me know. The arm is currently stowed and secured. Roger. right in the middle of that lot, isn't it? Yeah. After we move this oily, Dirk, what's next? Oh, well, then we're ready to release it, so if the RV's positioned in a good spot still, and yeah. we're Let's it. get the ship away while we're waiting. Um, Megan, can you please move the ship north? Uh, let's see here, how far are we? You're going to have to release it with the RV, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, OK. I'm just going to move Atalanta as far as possible. Can we move the ship north uh, 15 meters, please? Roger, 15 meters north. Bridge now. I'm going to turn away from you, uh, unless you want me to keep it for the meantime. Up to you, um, Dave. No, you're okay. You're good. Okay. How fast do we expect this mooring to come up? Um, AJ said this morning it was four hundred. Was it four hundred pounds positive? So oh, it's gonna, pew, it's gonna rock it. Oh, yeah. yeah, I think it's gonna be fast. Okay. This thing should be right around here. Yeah, so you got it in sonar. Yeah, the top floats like 650 <coughs> positive. So, Roger. I'm gonna try and sit here. Okay. Just gotta clear up. That might be the connector right there. Yeah. Hard to say. We'll do this for a handover. Hey, there's a mooring near you. Also, it's a mess. Good luck. Have fun. <laughs> Too bad we got to clear this. It means we're probably not popping it. This would be a good mess to leave them after last night. <laughs> oh, I got shoulder up working. See it there, yeah. It's pretty far. See where the connector yeah. is. I see the old hurt footprint in the stills cam. Yep, that's what <coughs> I'm looking at.
I see the connector in Stills Cam. Yeah. Yep. It's still a bit far out, isn't it? Yes. All right, Magnum stowed. Roger. <coughs> I should be able to reach that. Can I get the arm out? Yeah. It's gonna be right on the edge, I think. Yeah, you bet it is. Oh, good crap. There we go. Got her. Okay. That's all you, Dave. I'm halted. Yeah. I'm going to fly out on the stills. Yeah. Yeah, just free of the train wheel to the left there. Yeah, How's no your... worries. Just sitting right in between those two wheels, and if something shifts, I don't want it falling on it. Sure. During the release, yeah. Because that tension, the chain might be what's holding it. Yeah, the Roger. Spot. I see the hockey pucks, too, the black hockey pucks. That's good there, Trevor. Okay, that means we're going to land on him when we pull the hockey pucks. That's fine. Okay, dropping. Right, just drop it. And I'll get up and out of here. Roger that. Arm is stowed and secure. Yep. Stowed ish. Stowed ish. We can fly and grab the hockey pucks, I guess. I don't, yeah, I don't think you're going to reach it from below. Because <coughs> it's, uh, I think it's like. That's me, like quite a ways up there. Yeah, I'll have to clear the mud oh, off. Yeah, we're kind of full of mud right now. Yeah, yeah, go for it. You have to go do a car wash. Yeah. Megan, could you please zoom out on ROV nav? Uh, can you bring the sonar range out? Please? Yeah, roger that. Give you 20 meters. And widen it up to full width. One eighty full width. Yeah, it should be right around here somewhere. <coughs> there it is. Okay. Uh, tracks in your other sonar as well. It's good. Ten meters slightly to port. Yep. Seven meters up. So <coughs> we should hopefully blow out. That'll put it back in the south, right in front of us. There's the cable. Yep. Roger. And there's the marker. So as soon as we release this, Megan will have the ship move. Uh, I think the first step would be track a line, its current heading. Okay. Um, just to get us the heck out of here. Okay. So that the wearing doesn't come up and hit us. Have you just pinged that beacon yet? Yes, I pinged it. Okay, cool. So we'll follow that on the way up, of course. But uh, Dirk confirming if I just pull the puck and release it, I'm, I'm set to do that or... I guess we need permission from Bridge first. Yeah, yeah, from our side, that's the next step. Okay. All right, we're good to go. Okay, in case the puck just happens to release it, Megan, can you clear us with the bridge to permission to release? Roger. Um, bridge down. The puck is on the right side and goes this way. We're ready to release the mooring. Are you ready? We're next ready five minutes or so. Where do you want me? Um, yeah. No, I don't believe we need him on the bridge. Right now is good. I can pull I it to the right. That should be fine. It should be. Um, good. Forget what you said. Slower than the ROV. Oh, much faster. Much faster. Much faster. Yeah. Oh, okay. I'll be here like 40 minutes or something. Yeah. 
So not yet. Not yet. Not yet. Point five, get us moving, get out of here. Point five, yeah. Yeah, whenever it's ready, point five, Megan. Point five. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Everybody, everybody happy? I think I'm happy. ONC is happy. Yeah, Megan's happy. happy. Just, Bridge is happy. Is you're happy with the still camera there? Just that view? Sure. It's not too close. Okay. Yeah, it's close, but. Touching. We can stretch out a little bit. Okay. It's my favorite piece of kit on the ROV. I don't want anything happening to it. What about the pilots, man? We're like pretty good bits of kit. <laughs> uh, they're not on the ROV. You don't know that. <laughs> <laughs> ah. Get out of there. Go. I'm Come on. I've got a little bit of pullback yep. on as well. Come on. I have to Get rotate, out. honestly. Looks a little twisty. What are you talking oh. about? Looks bit. You bend it? That's yeah, it's bad. bending. Okay, I'm off there. Let's do an inspection before I go crazier. Yeah. Watch that cable connector too. Okay, halted. Oh, and so. re halted again. Just pull it out, he says. <laughs> well, it, yeah, it, it won't spin, he says. <laughs> <laughs> He's, who's he? That's a real question here. Dive chief. No matter who's sitting there. Um, I think we should. I think we should pump. zoom in on it once we are ready, there, Dave. Yeah. We've got we some bending going on there. Yeah. It's yeah. Okay, go ahead, Pete. What's on the backside? It's like a hose or something. It looks like it's bigger diameter. The hose? What are you talking about? It looks like it's sitting in a sheath. A little, yeah. Something yeah. Something to protect it, maybe. Yeah, for alignment. Um, so it might just have to. Yeah, there's a t um, yeah. It's a bolt with a rubber on it. Yeah, it's a keep it from falling out by accident. Okay. Or and being pulled out. Or being pulled out by an ROV. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> um. <laughs> back away again. You're gonna have to extend the arm out a fair yes, bit. Yes, agreed. Understood. Okay. Uh, open the iris a wee bit. I want to bring. Uh, That'll port. do it. I'm gonna do this. That's not helpful. Well, no. well everything's helpful. <laughs> Maybe I can do this. Oh, good gravy. Does that white tab need to come down? Yes, after. Okay. Yeah, I've got to get that thing out first. You want me to go? I'm going to try to pinch it. I'm going to grab the metal, and I'm going to push in the uh, hose part. Yeah. Okay. Push in the hose part. Uh, come down. I don't have words, but I have a plan. Shoulder down a bit more. Shoulder down? Yeah, there you go. I won't, I won't reach. You know what I mean? Yeah, I hear you. Okay, understood. Because if we that that could very easily get hooked onto yep. the crash bar. Understood. Makes sense. Okay. Oh, I Can see you zoom in, I please, Pete? Trick. Oh, I know. What you're and doing. good there. Trevor, full of ideas. Yeah, but they're not good ones. <laughs> Might be. No. Nope. Yeah, it's just spinning us a little. What if I pull off this rubber hose? Well, I'm worried you're going to bend that side, and then we're really done. Okay. What do you want to do, Dirk? Should I, I try like again? I idea, yeah. With the it's not enough tab there. Uh, you don't think so? No. I try. Can you? Yeah. Short of uh, what I'm halted. suggested. Well, you come back up. Yep. Good. Okay, go in again, Pete. Bring your leg, your arm out that way. There you go. Have a full reach. You got to come left and Forward. closer. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that uh, rubber, huh? All right. I think that I got might it have worked. I got it. Nope. It nope. looked like good, but it was not. Maybe try another pull. I don't know. Full wide. I think we got to grab it with the Magnum, which is pretty risky. Well, not grabbing the chain. The chain is fine to grab. Yeah. yeah. I'm not going to grab the mooring, but I can grab the chain. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Well, this is getting involved. Right. That's as far around as I really want to come. Yeah, Roger. That's a good time for handover. 
Arm secure. Dave, let's get out of there. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, you can keep flying. I don't care. That's, that's what's in the vehicle. You're welcome That's just what's in the vehicle. What do we need to know? Anything? Yeah, I'll tell you a bunch of stuff. I know that's. I know that's bone. Don't use the salvos. Don't open the starboard button. Don't open the starboard button. Don't use salvos. Roger. One more thing. You can read the red book later. Yeah, bridge is queued up. They're all. We have permission to release, and they have moved. Already ready to go. Just get us the heck out. Basically, the ship's going to go on its head in 0.5. We just got to back away straight up the hill. Hmm. Thanks, Trevor. Thanks, Dave. Thanks, Trevor. What's that? Oh, yeah. Thank you. Guess it'd help if I can hear myself or hear anyone else. Mic, 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 mic check. So, mic, uh, mic check, one, two. Jake Bonney, you on the deck? Stand by, I'm just doing a complicated handover out here. <laughs> Winch, ROV. Uh, so we wait. Where's Danny Cam? So don't mess with the salvo, but does that mean I can't change oh, my you cameras? Can switch there. Switch that useless DSC cam out of there. Yeah. So, Bucket. the grand plan is to release the Mori. Yep. yep. We're there. And then the ship's going to go wait for it to bonk on the hull. Uh, check, like check, bonk. check. Going to do something. Are you going to go racing off at ludicrous speed? Yeah, ludicrous speed. What's that? Ludicrous speed. <laughs> what's the, uh, what's the plan ship move ahead? Uh, they're Van, Van, in. check. Huh? Jake's talking to you. Yep, loud and clear. What do, uh, I, what do I gotta turn on to get turn Jake? Turn on SPL. Yeah, just go on SPL. You there, Jake? I'm here. Ah, Roger. In the sun. Roger. Okay. Dodgy comms established to winch control it. The ship's gonna go 050 job, at 0.5 knots. 0 0.5. Zero point five. Roger. So what, we're gonna grab that orange thing? No, you're gonna grab the chain right below the orange thing. I like that idea. It's a good idea. Standing by. Where's Atlanta? Atlanta's I ain't got no fucking clue. Way far away. Yes, yeah. We made it as far away as possible. Oh my god. Looking away and far away. It's kind of hard to wrap yourself around the axle with that. I did and not pull the safety pin. Come down now. Hey, Jake? Are you there, Jake? I'm here. Can you come down five meters? Coming down five meters. Dan, there was quite a bit of tension on that pin. Yeah. That sounds like fun. 
It's okay. just, um, it's got a rubber, like the back threads of that pin, it's a bolt and it's got rubber around it. So I guess it was just so stopping it like from doesn't come out. out of there, yeah. Yeah, so now it's kind of stuck. Hmm. We'll get it's it. It's like deja vu all over again. Oh, this is fun. <laughs> I've done these. Last time they put a piece of heat shrink on there and it was like... I'll stop on the winch. Roger, I'll stop on the winch. Okay. okay. This should be good for a while, Jake. Let me know. And if you want, Jake, you can uh, come in out of the sun or hang out or, you know, work on your tan, whatever you want. Roger that. I got Delta on Grafana, so... Roger. Links might be bigger than they appear. Yeah, we have to grab it with the small jaw. Much my heading, make sure I don't do anything silly. I think that's a grab. Beautiful. Speaking of doing something silly. Yeah, you gotta get out of flute mode. Um, I don't like that grab, so. You don't think it's going to work? Well, I'm worried about getting, getting caught. Getting out, yeah. Getting away. <coughs> the ship moving at 0.5. Well, if we, pull to, if we pull the safety uh, pin, then we can get away, let go, and then we just smack the, the release. Yeah. I want you to uh, reach out there and see if you can move or actually go. Yeah. Reach out there and grab the chain with the craft. Oh, they got to enable the craft. They got it disabled. Like, why is my halt not working? So I'm looking south again. My happy heading. Okay, that feels good. Oh, video zoom in there for me. Uh, grab the link below and see. I'm gonna loose my. Actually, unlock your jaws. Okay. Those jaws. Oh, gotcha. Jaws relaxed. You can have you have control. Roger. Okay. Grab a hold of uh, yeah, a link below. Not through the. Grab the whole link. Yeah. Yeah. Um. Okay. Straight out towards the end of the jaws there. I reckon it'll come off. And you rotate it a little. Rotate clockwise. <coughs> I'm just going to relax here. Pull back over. I'll push away just a little there. You happy? Yeah. Okay. Tighten jaws. Yeah. You good? I'm locked. Yeah. Releasing. Um. I'll grab the chain again and see if you can rotate back around. <coughs> grab the link. Camera above. Okay. Okay, grab the chain again. Right above or below, either way. Below gives me more of a scope of grab. Roger. You got it? Yep. I'm going to open and I want uh, to put the whole link in the jaw. Oh. Okay, stop. Stop. Okay, I'll stop. Stick the whole link in there if you can't. You're driving the ROV. Yeah, I can't. Uh, you can. I'm trying to. Yeah, you got to move your jaw up a little bit. You move yours. Move left. Okay. okay. There we go.
Much better. Grab. A little better, but Okay, hold on. Hold on. I'm not doing nothing, just thinking of my next moves. <laughs> not going to touch nothing. I'm going to scrape that rubber off it ever so I'm trying to pull it. I'm going to more up against the uh, jewelry on the vehicle there, so i got to... So remind everyone for the hundredth time we don't have a horizontal bar to protect our jewelry. So I'm going to push the magnum out a little bit more. Been in this position where Lou Kai did a 180 degree flip. And I am full wide. I do. Remember that, Megan? Oh, yeah. When we released the mowing and uh, Lou Kai did a backflip? Yeah. Because the elevator caught the brow bar? Yeah. Yeah, we don't have a. Yeah, our brow's not set up for. I need to. Yeah. I need to do that. Ours wasn't Eva. <laughs> I don't see your eyebrow too. Elbow's gonna droop. I don't care. Let's just get it out so it's not in the jewelry here. Looks like there's a bunch of things that get cut on the RV when it lets go. <laughs> we would hopefully rip all that stuff right off, but you never know. If not, we're going to free ride to the surface. Out of there. It's a trade-off between whether you can reach it and whether it's like contact. Well, we could go down a couple links. I can grab the link above you and you can drop down a few links and then we just get below it. Um, can you reach the hockey puck there? Do I gotta, I might have to pull it in, but I don't, I don't mind pulling it in like on the left side of my sonar there. I got a hockey puck. Should we even pull the safety off of here? Mm, that safety goes from the other side, so stand by. Okay, my boy, you're not out far enough. What is the PC? Uh, what, Tygon tubing on the bolt? It looks like it, yeah. Okay, zoom in video. Looks like it's bent already. Yep. Yeah, that's why I was going to try to scrape the Tygon off. What the sweet. Okay, zoom in. They put a lot of tag on on there. Yeah, to the point where it wasn't even coming out at all. Yeah, but they were flying around. Yeah, it was just twisting as soon as they were pulling on it. So it should just pull out to the right, correct? Should that's there's that's the only mechanism is pulling it out to the right, but right. we haven't tried without while being attached to the flooring. Roger. Uh, go in. Okay, so. This slow and easy. Mm -hmm. Don't want to in inadvertently release it till I'm ready. Well, this is a safety pin. The release is the. I know, but just knocking around in there, right? So yeah, gotcha. Take our time and uh, okay, video. You can zoom in there. <coughs> so I'm gonna grab a hold of this thing, clamp, and then rotate my wrist to slowly pull it out. Go around it. Maybe. 
maybe you can unbend it too. <laughs> Problem is it's going to walk around. Mm, just nice and gentle unscrew. It's moving. It's moving indeed. Nice. Gotta let a machinist do this. <laughs> Got a specialty for removing broken stuck bolts. <laughs> <coughs> yeah, when you typically put a like an R pin there? An R pin. R maybe pin machine the threads off. I think they don't put an R pin because it spins like crazy. So it, it's Yeah, but a bungee with a spring clip on it would be or a cotta pin with a uh one for monkey fist on it. Well, even just a smaller piece of tubing might be. <laughs> yeah. Well, the tubing, you got to remember, is going to shrink because it's cold. So it's going to get really tight when you send it to the bottom. Um, yeah, if you see it starting to go deflecting that way, then you're binding the bolt up in there. Yep, that's why I'm just like slightly adjusting. Now it's coming. Yeah, it's coming. Just Slow maybe, and steady. Yeah, maybe easier twisting. Yeah. You could uh, rotate counterclockwise, but don't pull on it so hard. Slowly pull on rotate. You know what I mean? Unscrew it. Yeah, Keep it's kind of screws in and out. <laughs> oh, okay. Don't pull so hard. It's spinning the bolt there. There you go. I forgot I have constant rotation. It is unthreading the two. Just put a constant <laughs> tension on it. Don't yep. keep yanking yep. back yep. and forth. Yeah, That's there it's going. Out. There you go. Right. Nice. Do we want to go wide? Do we want to save that or just toss it? I think save it. Put it in the bin. Well, it's just not throw it on the ground, I guess. Put it in the bin. Yeah. Your box or whatever. Stow it off it. camera. <coughs> Oops. Shit. Why would you not just put it in the bin? Is it just. Anyways, okay. Hey, you might not want to put it on the starboard side. No, we're not. Roger. Okay. Standing by. Can't come off the, uh, see if I can get out a little further. You got Danny Cam there? Yep. Oh. So all we gotta do is knock that white puck down. Yep. And it should go, right? Yep. Standing by for the uh, the command. Adjusting things so I can see here. <coughs> We've got an update waiting for you. We want to have uh, Jake ready on the wrench in case time. we get pulled. Okay. Can you reach out that far? I think so. So it's probably a grab and pull, or is it a knock and pull? 
looks like a knock it's it a knock down. It's just a knock it down, yeah. Roger. Okay, hold on. Uh, zoom in for us, video. You got it enough cameras there? Yeah, I can see it in bucket cam. I've got it here. I've All right. got a nice rotation ready to go. Let her go. Three, two. Nice. Good work. Nice. Bridge nav. Please start tracking a line 050.5 knots. Thanks. Are we uh, recovering the deck as well? We're done down here. What's uh, the deal? We're going to do two, two Niskins on the way up. Right. And three, okay. right. well, six overall, but the first two is at, uh, well, I'm trying to get you a depth here. Would you like me to go pick up the hockey puck now? We can do that. <laughs> I don't think you can right now, can you? I can. <laughs> Sorry about that. Some things are low on my priority list. Well, we can get it during the next dive when we don't have the mooring coming up. Roger. No, we're all good. Now the whole mess is above us. Happy, happy. Let's just stow my weapons here. <coughs> See how the ROV floats. I have no idea. You're gonna start doing your segments? Okay. Okay. Yep. And the skins are coming. Sure, it's yeah. a lot of for us. We're gonna be quite a quite a long time before they're on surface. So what we want to do next as part of coming up at two Niskins at 50 meters above the bottom, Roger. two Niskins at 500 meters, and two at 1,000 meters above bottom. Roger. I lost the plot after the 50 meters, but I'm sure you <laughs> Yeah, yeah. We'll be, uh, <laughs> Sorry, we'll be I have a really good memory. It's just not very long. <laughs> doesn't last very long. Uh, did Jake, you want to have Jake start coming up, or? Mm, not quite yet. Okay. Wait till we start getting in tow mode. Hey, look, we're tracking the line at half a knot. My fantasy for recovery at 2,600 meters will come up like crazy. So good. I'm usually not allowed to. Navigators don't let me. <laughs> <laughs> Jake, are you there? I'm here. Can you come up to uh, five zero meters? I'll see. Uh, I'll give you a number you can relate to. Uh, what do you got there? Oh, you got Grafana? I got Grafana. On so the payout, come out up to uh, come up 50 meters. I'll let you do the math because you're way better at it than I am. Roger that. Up 50. <coughs> Sorry, I lied. We want to come up. We want to come up uh, 30. Up 30. See, I'm horrible now. They oh, want to do an. They want to do a Niskin at 50 meters altitude. So I'm at 20 right now. <laughs> and we're in tow Roger mode. Coming up 30. We're in tow mode. Uh, at you know zero delta. Ships. Uh, Sailing away off the nav screen at half a knot. ROVs are yet to move.
Uh, check, check one, two. I'll stop on the winch. Roger. Okay, Megan, if you engage auto depth, that guy there, and it's a good idea to check your thrusters here because there's a known bug. And you're in, yeah, auto depth. So we call it the one touch bug, so we often double tap it. Okay. So did you see how they went full thrust up? Mm -hmm. So when they're that way, it's like a rocket. So the color coming out of there is the direction you're thrusting. I see. Why, uh, why does it go all the way up when you hit? Because it's wonky. It goes all the way down when you hit auto altitude. So cool. it tries to, the bug um, bashes you into the seabed if you hit auto altitude for the first time. Mm -hmm. And it tries to drive you into the boat's mm -hmm. propeller when you hit auto depth. So it's a good to know. So we call it the double tap bug. Okay. So you have to double double tap this? We usually just, double tap double it on the tap screen, tap yeah. On the screen. So okay. it happens when you're switching from like auto depth to auto altitude. So in this case, we're going to use auto depth because we're going to come up and stop a bunch of times. Mm -hmm. And uh, the other thing you need to do if you go to hotel cameras, <coughs> um, let's see, what side is that? In this You're going to want to turn on the port rail and shut yeah, the firebox. Knows, Danny knows the drill. That's, uh, what am I, for the, look, for the depth of Argus and uh, Atlanta, where are the... Are they at the same depth right now, or what? They are indeed. So we're we're in tow mode, and uh, you know the bridge is the ship's oh, I understand. tracking the line gotcha, at, gotcha. at half a knot. So we're already in like recovery mode. Well, we're not quite yet, but <coughs> anyways, yeah, they're both at two six zero. Oh, but not above each other. They're towed sideways. Yeah. Okay, gotcha. Yeah, tail to tail. Yeah, gotcha. And so Atlanta's like you know four meters or above Herc right now. Yeah, yeah, got gotcha. And they're both at 50-something meters altitude, specifically 53 and 56. Yeah, I just keep losing which one's which, and then I was like, which one of those two? So when do you want Niskins and how many Niskins? Um, there's going to be two at 50 altitude, so. Right now? Yeah, right now. The I will give you two. two. So, Ricky, we're going to be triggering those Niskins right now. On it. And um, since we're starting, just starting to tow, Megan, mm -hmm. and oh, Herc's got its auto out, auto heading on this way. So you see on your, it's going to start on your thrusters page over there. It's going to start fighting one thruster one way and one thruster the other way. Okay. So you can actually, once they start moving, we can turn off turn auto, off auto heading. heading. Yeah. Or you can uh, double tap it and that will reset it. You want a Zeus pan? Oh, yeah. Yeah, if you want, yeah. Uh, I mean, I can see it in bucket cam, but... We should have Zeus on it for the uh, back row. So if you move that one to the left, that will pan over for Danny. I'll tilt up a bit. And I've previously racked the camera back. Yeah. Yeah, oh, yeah okay. you got the right button there. That's for it. Okay, first, first pull now. Three, two, one. Released. There's number one released. You got can that. see him popping yep. in that camera there. Okay. Number two releasing in three, two, one. Niskin Niskin triggered. <laughs> got two Niskins triggered. Awesome. So I'm. Well, ideally we we would like coordinates for this um, trigger, but I guess it's difficult since our navigator is flying. Yeah. Oh. Uh, we have a Dan can double training. click it. Okay. Now you now you have to <laughs> tell me what to do. Just Megan. double <laughs> click on top of Herc. What's that? Double click on top of Hercules. Which also, Herc? we left this bottom, one? so I need to like log oh, this log. Bark at me. Tell me what to do. Yeah. Double click on top of the Herc symbol. This guy here. I've there. done this before. It's been a while. And then right click. And properties, Roger. and she can read it. Perfect. You can type in Niskin. Niskin. I have to type? Yeah. Uh, literacy is not a requirement for... <laughs> Niskin at 50 or just Niskin? Uh, Niskin is fine, I'm sure. I don't know. Science should tell you what, what you should type. What do you want? What do you two want times that? Niskin at 50. Niskin 2x at 50. 
playing a little Peters. Wally vessel here. How many? Altitude. Is that good? Yeah, that's great. Perfect. Also, Thank um, you. can you go to C log? It's uh, in the yeah in the browser, and then do off bottom. Uh, which one? C log. This guy. Uh, the the Google Chrome. That's good. Yeah, and lock dive status. Do I just type just here? Just click on it. Click on dive status. And then choose off bottom from the drop down menu. So that top one, just click on Roger, it. Roger. Off, off bottom. bottom. Additional text. And then just submit. Huh? Oh, oh, hold submit. on. It's wrong. On bottom. You got to flip it to oh, yeah. off bottom. Off, yeah. off bottom. Well, Dan did say literacy was in his <laughs> text. <laughs> okay. I could say submit there. Yes. Submitting. Thanks. Is that your first C log uh, contribution there, Dan? Uh, I can't remember. It's been a while <laughs> since I've been allowed to sit over here. <laughs> <laughs> Next to all the important buttons and levers. Okay. So you. Um, What's our next target altitude? 500 meters. So, kind of three things to watch here besides the ship sailing off into the blue and mm -hmm. maybe not paying attention. I don't, I don't <laughs> zoom out here. Doesn't zoom out. It's a rolly, isn't it? Yeah, it's a rolly. Slow. But then to pan, you have to click and drag. I just want to zoom out. It's a little slow. It is a little slow. Just like me. Yeah. That's um, when you're like, zoom so in, zoom out. I'm like, ah, <laughs> <laughs> Now I get it's it. It's like, I'm doing it. <laughs> Painful. Um, yeah, we're going to have quite a bit of a layback, but yep. there's nothing we can do about that. But the things you can do something about. So you see the two aft cameras there? Mm -hmm. And you're seeing tail to tail. So the top, the right one on above your screen, you're seeing that's Herc's tail. And yeah. way out there, you see Atlanta. Atlanta. And then in the other one, that's Atlanta's Atlanta, tail. And, and way out Herc. there, you should see Herc. So without any instruments, um, those should be in view of each other. Mm -hmm. So then you know you're tail to tail and one's not too much higher than the other. Right. And then the secondary or probably also primary thing is to make sure Atlanta's above Herc and that number should always be positive. This should, okay, this green number. Yeah, yeah. It changes colors randomly, but <laughs> um, it should be positive. Positive number, no negative yeah. numbers. And if we're really on it, it should be positive uh, single digits. Mm -hmm. But with this 50 meter tether, we can get away with positive double digits. Okay. But, you know, 20, 30 is getting a bit, you know, you can do the math there, right? Right. So if you're past probably 20, you can't see there. The other thing you can see in your sonars, mm -hmm. you can see, uh, so on the right, they got them all wonky divisions at the moment, but that'll do for our purposes. So on the right, you see 20 meters away, you can see Atlanta in Hercules sonar. And on the left, I mean, sorry, 50 meters away, you can see Hercules and Atlanta sonar. Mm -hmm. So that's another clue of red ground. And then the last one, obviously, your compass compasses should be opposing pretty much. And that means Hercules is not walking around on its heading, mm -hmm. getting tangled up in its tether. And just like they are on the nav screen there. So as we come up through the water column, we're going to come up together. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. then if you go on your utility page, You'll get a couple numbers there. The top one is a filtered vertical velocity, and the bottom one is obviously jumping around all yeah. now. Yeah. Okay. So you can pick a speed to come up at, let's pick uh, 20 meters a minute. Okay. And then you can, when you're ready, have the winch come up at 20 meters a minute, and then you should be able to pull vertical up and get that 20 meters a minute. Okay. Right. So call Jake. So come up 20 meters a minute. Yes, Jake. Thank you. <laughs> and then, and I, I yeah, come Then up. you'll come out of auto depth. And yeah, you give her a full vertical up there. Give him it. I'm not sure what Hercules is. So Jake, we're coming up 500 yeah, you meters. Can, you can pin it where we are now. Mm-hmm. And then. 
Roger that. Coming How up 500 meters. Stick lock. Yeah, if you want to lock it, you can hit stick lock. Oh, I'm sorry, 450 meters. So because they want to do a NISCAN at 500. You've locked it in at 63 percent. Mm -hmm. So the percentage there is. Uh, that's how much you happen to be pulling on the stick Pulling, when yeah. you hit the okay, button. Okay, so mm -hmm. which will be all stopping? Is that, okay, do we want to go meters? like more than that? Is there like a, a threshold of... Usually, so it depends on how we're ballasted. Usually we try and make Hercules max speed and make the winch match. Okay. It depends if we're doing a vertical transect or how heavy we are, how fast we can recover to deck. Okay. Uh, I think in this case, we want to get the ROVs on deck and then go do a mooring. Mm -hmm. So, we're so probably, go faster? Yeah, so you could go 100% and then have this, the winch match, which is probably going to be 25 meters a minute. Which it is oh. indeed. So Jake's watching the Delta Hill. Usually the winch operator will adjust their speed to okay. match your speed. So we're making, Jake, we're making uh, 26 meters a minute at the moment. Roger that, 26 meters per minute. Roger. Uh, 500 feet uh, off bottom, we will do another set of niskins. 500 meters, meters. Yeah. meters. So, yeah. I mean, the depth on the bottom was 2658, so we're probably looking Bridge around now. 2158 for the next one. Come a little faster if you want, Jake. Come 30 meters Bridge a minute now. for a little while. Hey, uh, so the mooring should be on the surface in about 20 minutes. Uh, so keep your eyes peeled for that. It should be a big orange ball. And we are, yeah, we are coming off bottom with the ROV. Should be on the surface in an hour and a half. Thirty meters a minute. Um, well, we're we're gonna recover the vehicles to deck before we go for the buoy, but if you have eyes on it, that'd be good enough. We are tracking it, so we we know where it is. Cool. Can I? Where? Which one is it? Oh, your. Oh, yeah, it's probably off your screen by now because we're driving away from it. So, should you zoom out on this one or Sonardyne or this one's painful to zoom on as well. Yeah, yeah, that one's also very slow because the project is very large. Yeah. Um, yeah, it'll make sure that we're going up faster. Yeah, point three should be fine. Thanks. <laughs> 